Hello again folks, not an electronics video this evening, just a quick sort of show and tell of a product that I purchased on Amazon yesterday that I'm really impressed with. Um, up until today in fact, I had been using the keyboard that I had stolen off my wife's computer on my PC. Um, but I was conscious that I needed to sort of bite the bullet and, and purchase one. So uh, last night, or was it not last night or the day before? Whatever it was, yeah. I had to dig about on Amazon, uh, armed with three sort of requirements. One, it had to have a numeric keypad. Two, it had to be a UK layout. And three, it couldn't be one of these garish RGB LED type gaming keyboards with, you know, fancy paint job and stickers and decals and logos everywhere. Uh, or indeed, did it, uh, it couldn't have a phone holder or a cigarette lighter holder because yes, I did find a keyboard that does have a cigarette lighter holder. I just, it's beggar's belief as to how that meeting went when they were talking about the R&D of the product. You know, yeah, it's got to have uh, RGB lighting and yes, we need to ensure that it can be, you know, this, that and other and absolutely has to have a cigarette lighter holder. I mean, why? <laughs> why would you do it? I just don't know. Suffice to say, though, if you're in the market for a keyboard that has a built-in cigarette lighter holder, I, Chris Cochran, will provide you with a link down in the description below for you to purchase one. Anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> so, yeah, with all that out of the way, um, I decided to go with this TechNet one. It arrived today, and the first thing I noticed when it arrived was the weight of it. It is super heavy. Not quite a kilogram, but it must weigh... Somewhere in the order of eight or nine hundred grams, it is as you can hear a fairly hefty, hefty keyboard. Now, I assumed that the Allen bolts on here were just a molding and plastic to give it that industrial look, but no, this does have a steel, as you can probably hear from that neodymium near near magnet attaching itself. It's got a steel face plate which has given it weight and, yeah, like I say, a nice industrial look to it. Um. Yeah, it's really smashing. Um, it's also got, through the the faceplate, the actual towers, of, I don't know what you'd actually call them, there's a little tower or a column that comes up uh, well above the surface, and the keycaps themselves, once they're on, uh, form a sort of umbrella, if you look well, over the top of those little columns or whatever you call them. And what that aids is, if, if you were to spill a glass of wine for instance on your old keyboard and have to steal your wife's uh, keyboard um, because you've killed it um, you know what that's going to do is stop the wine getting into your keyboard and essentially theoretically you could flood the keyboard or flush the keyboard with clean water uh, and dry it out and of course you should be able to use your keyboard i'm 99 percent certain with this keyboard given that you know those, you know, a good eight millimeters above the actual surface of the keyboard, it's probably gonna, you know, unless you're fully immersing this in a fluid, it's it's going to be fine. Um, onto the features of the keyboard itself, uh, there's a couple of really good features. It's said it's a it's a gaming type keyboard. It's got the the uh, WASD keys there for your your movement while you're playing a game but say you're a left-handed gamer and of course you use your mouse your left hand you may want to wish uh, you may wish to use the cursors down here and what this keyboard allows you to do is by holding down the function and then w key it swaps wasd down to here and you can actually type those letters using the cursors once that mode's enabled so it's just going to be a bit easier for lefties using the mouse with the left hand and the cursor and they can still do the fire and run and all that stuff down on the with it, using the thumb uh, to take it off, um, just hold down function again and press W. Now, if you look at the top right here where you've generally got your uh, num lock, caps lock and scroll lock keys, you'll see there's this uh, futuristic looking N and C for your caps and num lock. And scroll lock usually has an LED, but this keyboard it doesn't. And I initially thought there was a problem with it. So... Of course, dug out the instructions. It, incidentally, it does come with a two-year warranty, which is pretty good. Um, but the instructions, you know, give great detail and actually show you that this is the gaming lock. So if you are a, a right-handed gamer, and of course you're using these keys down here, there is the chance, however slight, that you may press the Windows key. And of course, if you press Windows key whilst you're online gaming or whatever, it's going to kick you off the game and put you, your Windows desktop up, which is not ideal. So by holding down the function key and the Windows key, 
you will see that there's a uh, little sort of lock uh, or a G, is it a G? I can't actually see. But yeah, there's a little logo lights up here anyway in red, and that is gaming lock, and that basically disables your Windows key, which is pretty handy. So you're not gonna have any um excuses really when you're when you're playing online. Again, to take it off function and uh you know the Windows key that takes it off. Now it wouldn't be a gaming keyboard unless it had some form of backlighting, and like I say, um I'm personally not a big fan of it. Um, especially this rainbow effect um, you know some people like that sort of thing I don't um, I'm not really adverse to backlighting per se um, so it does have it does have that on on this uh, keyboard if you press the backlight button you see it lights up in blue if I press it again it lights up in red if I press it a third time it brings the red and blue on together to give you this purple color now you can adjust the brightness by holding down function and using page up and page down that adjusts your brightness and function and actual uh, lighting key itself will actually take you through a breathing mode and it will cycle through the colors and sequence and by holding down function and the plus and minus keys up here you can adjust the speed at which it cycles through <coughs> excuse me of course if you just want it off you can leave it off um, but yeah that said i don't mind it in red actually it looks quite pleasant actually and the keys themselves are indeed uh, backlit you can see that e key in there probably just about um, so if you are playing in the dark or whatever or um, you know using your computer in the dark you can actually see where the keys are so yeah overall i, I pretty like it sorry it does have a uh, the, the function keys so if you go down function on your f1 keys you've got your media controls for volume and speakers uh, mute and all that sort of stuff uh, play, forward, reverse, all that good stuff. Keys for your email, uh, browser, lock function, and calculator. So, yeah, all in all, pretty impressed with it. And even more so impressed with it when I tell you it was £13 and 49 pence, including delivery. Um, it's just a nice, nice keyboard when you're getting a lot for your money. Um, one final point to say about it. A couple of final points. It does have provision for uh, wrist rest. It doesn't come with one, but you you know you can probably get one. It's got a little feet there in the bottom, so if you wish to lift up the back of it, and it does have a nice black braided uh, cable with the obligatory gold plated USB uh, connector there. So yeah, not a not a review. I'm not being paid to review this or anything like that at all. I just. Uh, showing you my experience of a really good value keyboard uh, really solidly built and uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with it genuinely impressed with it so um, i might actually get another one as a spare to be honest but yeah thanks very much for watching um if you did enjoy it please give me a thumbs up if you thought it was a load of rubbish or by all means pop a thumbs down on there any comments uh, questions concerns and if that use the uh you know comment feature down below and if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so click on my fat head just down here and there'll be some other videos for you to watch should you wish to do so that's it thanks very much again for watching until next time as always take care of yourselves and all the best